Hey everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Northern Lion with our streak slightly higher as a result of the fact that after I played on the Super Show I had like 20 minutes left over and did an Azazel run before Nick finished his run. Straight up, can't remember what character we're supposed to be playing as, so I think we'll do Random Eden Isaac. Or maybe we could just do Isaac Eden. I don't think anyone's really gonna be complaining about that. Our seed, AGDQ, man! What are the odds? Wouldn't it be great if you ran this seed on AGDQ? Think about that shit. 70 PY. There we go. AGDQ, of course, awesome games. Done quick. The uh, speedrunning in person marathon for charity that is also live streamed on Twitch to, you know, like a quadrillion viewers. Pretty much like the single greatest show of, uh, you know, variety gaming skill in the world. Which I realize at this point, once you add enough signifiers onto something, it makes it so specific that it can't help but be true. But seriously, those guys know how to play some video games. I don't really want to fight the boss right off the bat. I had a great run uh, on the NLSS today. Not a, a physical run, no. Don't be ridiculous. But I had a great run on the NLSS today, and uh, don't really want that either. And I'm looking forward to repeating it. It was a weird, like, um, didn't become guppy, I think, but I had, like, Monstro's Lung, but not an insanely fast charge time, so it was actually, like, a little bit of a gambling sort of Monstro's Lung. It was a cool uh, setup. I don't mind having the Ankh. It's not my favorite item to have by any stretch of the imagination, but it is acceptable. Uh, and, and we could maybe do some funky stuff. Like, this allows us to get ourselves killed on a deal with the devil, if we so desire. Why we would ever desire that in this situation is a, a very good question, actually. We'd have to find a deal with the devil that could mathematically kill us to begin with on the next floor, which is extremely unlikely. The other thing that we could do is intentionally kill ourselves on, like, a self-sacrifice room on this floor like this one, and if we did that, it would pretty much guarantee, this is not really what I was hoping for, it would pretty much guarantee that we would get a deal with the devil on the next floor because we would have a, uh, we would have all spirit hearts. Kind of a, just an interesting thing to think about, I don't know if it's ever going to come to fruition, but figured we'd come in here and just see if I could like shoot the fire or, you know, god forbid buy a spirit heart, you know, that might be nice as well, but without any bombs we can't really swing that. One more penny would make a world of difference. I don't really want to stand there and shoot those. I know I'm going to take damage against them. Interesting things to think about. Does the Ankh respond with four spirit hearts or three spirit hearts? I'm going to I'm going to do the opposite of what I do on Lazarus runs, and I'm going to play it conservatively, not kill myself to use the Ankh, and then um, you know maybe use it on a deal with the devil. It doesn't have to be this upcoming deal with the devil, although I would like it to be to get it out of the way. We could use it on a future deal with the devil, and that would be fine. If you're wondering why I'm lending so much uh, discussion, strategically speaking, to something that probably is not going to end up having an impact on our run one way or the other, one way or the other, it's because it's it's interesting, man. So I thought I would do it, if, if that's alright by you. We'll have a discussion about it, maybe learn something. Tears down, explosive diarrhea, should have used that in the shop, but how are we supposed to know? And a luck upgrade. At best, that's a 50-50, like that's an equivalent, like we didn't really improve ourselves. Uh, but I think that that was worse than equivalent. The tears downgrade, especially early, substantially more affecting in a negative way than the luck upgrade probably is likely to be in a positive way. And we're gonna see the uh, the ill effects of that right away here. This is gonna be a floor, this might be the hardest crack at a deal with the devil on the second floor we've had in quite some time. No spirit heart, so we can't take damage. Maybe I should have uh, actually used the Ankh. Maybe the game was presenting me with a golden opportunity to try out this new strategy that I theory crafted on the stream and I'm just completely wasting it here there we go that's what I was hoping for this is you know let's put it this way I don't want to do this room 15 times I'm really hoping that uh, we either pick up something that improves the quality of our run or we just have easier rooms and this one should by all accounts be a little bit easier but Good to get warmed up on a room that's a little bit more difficult, and then, you know, take some easy stuff going on here. I think that's the opposite of how warm-ups normally work, but I'll be content to handle them that way. Kind of got mixed up a little bit there. It's alright. I would like to kill them, but if they're just going to get knocked down into the headless state, that's fine by me as well. As long as we stay far enough away that we're uh, not at a huge risk of being hit. Hopefully. No keys, though. Very unfortunate. Hey, Ruka. Hey, Tomo. Back up, please. Let Kate in the door with those delicious groceries. Hello. Oh, so heavy. It's heavy groceries. 
I'm sorry to hear that, but that, maybe that means we've got a bunch of delicious juice or something like that. All right, so we're now with Key. Eve's Mascara, I'll take it. Catastrophically bad for our rate of fire. So my advice to myself now becomes like, don't miss. Yeah. Uh, poor decision on my part to pick up that item. Probably squandered our deal with the devil chances, but that'll make for a more interesting run in the interim period. And we can still get a tears upgrade from the boss. We can still get a deal with the devil, it's just the less likely of the options. A bomb. Man, a bomb would be so useful. I would take explosive diarrhea too, but uh... Our range is really, really bad as well. Don't take this as... Now our deal with the devil chances are fucked. Like, extremely. Don't take this as me complaining too hard just yet. Because I'm not. Everything that's happened so far has been within my power. If I want to complain about not having spirit hearts, then maybe I should have, uh, you know, grown a sack and killed ourselves in that self-sacrifice room so that we could become Blue Baby with the Ankh. You know, we had the opportunity to do so. We had the tools. And if I'm going to complain about our rate of fire, maybe I shouldn't have taken Eve's Mascara. The Tears Downgrade was out of our hands, but Eve's Mascara was not. We got to take ownership for that because, you know, if you take ownership, take responsibility, that means, you know, you own your mistakes, you own your successes as well. And I want to make sure that we're owning our successes here. Means we got the power to, you know, change things for the better for us here. I am really hoping for like a torn photo, squeezy, toothpicks. That's also really good, but I mean, it's not really good, but it's pretty good. Uh, but it's not as immediately helpful. The thing that's really going to be a problem for us is uh, big, not big rooms necessarily, no more than usual, I guess, but rooms with a lot of enemies are just gonna be goddamn awful. And I'm not even touching these poops, man. It's just too annoying, basically. <laughs> we will go to our curse room here. Uh, yeah, we'll pick that up. I promise. And we'll go to our curse room because I very much desire getting a guppy item, or the pact, or the goat head, or the mark, or ceremonial robes. That's all right. Uh, full health is a good pill to have. Explosive diarrhea, a little less so. Um, I'll, I'll try to throw it down here, but I really doubt we're finding like a second secret room or something over here. So we'll just have full health, which might actually end up being in a position to save us. And as I look at our consumables and I look at our damage, uh, I start to think that maybe uh, we totally could have used explosive diarrhea to try to bomb our way maybe to that key or something. But I'm starting to realize that we have a very poor chance of actually improving ourselves on this run unless we start to get some more consumable drops because I still don't have a spirit heart on my way down to the next floor nor do I have any means of which to get to the shop to get a spirit heart from there or to open a tinted rock or something like that so we're kinda handcuffed here I should have used the explosive diarrhea pill and then come back for full health which effectively wouldn't have changed very much because it's full health we probably would have ended up using it but so be it uh, I don't even want to talk about this room this is my least, and I mean this sincerely, any room with Envy is amongst my least favorite rooms in the game. Oh, hello. Any room with Envy is amongst my least favorite rooms in the game. And to fight him early with not fantastic DPS is, uh, it, it makes it worse. Let's put it that way. Alright, knock this guy out. We're gonna take him slowly here. Dip it low, pick it up slow. I, I forget what you do at the end, but you pop, pop, pop that thing, and I'm going to show you how to make your man say, whoa, I think is, is maybe how that ends. And I'm thrilled, man, because we have a pretty good chance of getting Shoop the Whoop here, an item that I couldn't give a shit about. Or we could get a Troll Bomb. I actually think there is one uh, permutation where we get a tangible reward. I think we can get a key. I think... There's about a, like a one-third chance of us getting a key. The item pedestal wouldn't be the worst thing, but... That might not have even been the key payout, but we got it. Demon Baby, I'm actually extremely thankful to have, you know? We can't really, uh... Complain about getting something like this when we can actually make good use of it, so... Uh... It's gonna give us just that little bit of extra oomph. Which is really useful for the enemies that get very close to us so this is probably squandered yet another deal with the devil chance and it's pretty clear that we're gonna have to think a little harder if we're gonna pull this one out of the bag this one's looking pretty tough so I figured we would walk to that and then we would go to our curse room because we've already taken red heart damage anyway 
uh, and that curse room does not appear to have really paid dividends for me. But I figured we'd go to it anyway, even if it's bad. We have our uh, our full health pill, and it ended up paying out with the key anyway. I don't feel comfortable using my bombs to try to get magic mushrooms. That's kind of like a luxury play. If we had more bombs, I would definitely consider it. With the amount that we have, yeah, man, sign me up for this. With the amount that we currently have, I'm more thinking um, tinted rocks are, are our biggest priority. Almost got him there. Just dodge this guy for now. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, yeah, we uh, we needed to take that. Thank you, Demon Baby. Oh, my God. P Pink champions, man. Not a fan. Thank you, Demon Baby. You're taking a lot of red heart damage. But it's not like each hit contributes to a lower deal with the Devil Chance, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. Well, how do we get out of this situation? It's quite simple. Hmm. It's quite simple. On this floor, I'm going to try it. We buy a spirit heart, which we can do. Oh, I would love to get mom's key as well. And then on our next floor, that gives us a pretty good chance. We'll take that with us as well. I got to be smart. Let's not pick up that black card yet because I don't want to lose it prior to the next floor. I think this could end up working out for us. The other way that we get out of this is even if we don't get a deal with the devil on the next floor, we, um... Oh, jeez. Scary room. Even if we don't get a deal with the devil on the next floor, we just get good boss items, man. Torn photo, toothpicks, anything that raises our DPS. We got an okay amount of HP for this part, point of the game, and we're combining that with... If we combine that with uh, DPS, considering we also have uh, a respawn at our disposal, that could be really useful. So let's throw a bomb down here. I will use the Semper's card on this boss, probably. That's not our second secret room. With two bombs left, I'm going to try here. And I'm going to try, like, here. I really wanted to see if there was an Eternal Heart, possibly. Although now I realize that this has sort of screwed us out of getting that uh, Black Heart. But we have Explosive Diarrhea. Pheromones. Full health. I'll pop that right now, just to be on the safe side. Um, let's use Explosive Diarrhea. We can use it on that room to get some consumables, but I'm going to use it on this room to... ...pick up the Black Heart. We're not going to get the Black Heart yet, but we'll, we'll do that, just in case. And you know what? We might as well try for these. Because we gotta really, again, go for broke now. And again, if I could get Mom's Key, that would be awesome. I would love to get Mom's Key here. So, let's get ready for this one. We still got a decent chance. Eh, we got an okay chance at the deal with the devil. But I, I really don't even want to buy the black card now to try to take it into this fight. For a better chance at it. We'll use the Empress card. That'll be the, the way that we'll hedge our bets. And I took damage right off the bat, so that's going to be... Our deal with the devil sacrificed on this floor, but it wasn't a good chance anyway. It's for the next floor that we've sacrificed our chances as well, you know. We, we, we've made a little deposit into our savings account in the hopes of saving this run. And even with the Empress card not really blowing the doors off here, but that's okay. It's all, this is a game of numbers and sometimes, you know, the numbers don't work with you right at the start. You gotta finagle the numbers. You gotta loose them up. You gotta say, hey, numbers. Can I call you numbers? Look, we got a mutual goal here. The HP up was not really what I was looking for, but it is fuel for upgrades in the future, so I'm not gonna sweat it yet. And we're still not gonna pick up that black card, because we have at least one more room that we can explore. And uh, if I could get a bomb and some money, unlikely, but it's possible. If I can get a bomb and some money from these next couple of rooms, maybe we can get the spirit heart and mom's key. Not a good start there. And if we can't get Mom's Key, that's okay. I think the Spirit Heart is a little bit more essential. Even if we end up fighting Krampus on the next floor, it doesn't matter. We just gotta get our foot in the door. Reroll Krampus' head into something better. Take Lump of Coal, it improves our run. So we could blow up the donation machine. Possibly get something out of that. We could blow up some mushrooms. I'm gonna try to look for a secret room. And there is the possibility that it's right next to the shop. I'm going to assume that that's not it and hope for the best right here. That sucks, man. That sucks real bad. All right. That's okay. We could have blown up the donation machine and probably gotten Mom's key, but I'm, I've made my bed. I'm going to lie in it here. I'll take this. 
We'll not take anything else from the shop because we could spawn an arcade on the next floor. And we got a lot of red hearts. Any way we can leverage that to our own advantage is for the best for us for sure. So let's head down here. Little frightened. And there, there's a lot of good stuff right next to us here that I'm very happy to have. Sure, BBF is extremely dangerous but also extremely useful. I'm very happy to have it. Let's gamble a little bit here and... To a certain extent, I'm not going to be all that picky about what we get. Option one, we don't get anything. That still gives us access to the boss trap room and some money. Option two, we get the IV bag, same thing. And we can reroll it. Option three, um, we get HP. Which I'd be happy to have. Admittedly, uh, Mega Fatty fucking sucks to fight when you have to get right next to it because you have no range. It can jump up on you very, very easily. So what I'm going to try to do is stay close to it, but then when BBF's getting on the prowl, we're going to get the hell out of the way. BBF is kind of like a renegade Bob's brain. What I'm basically getting at is that, like, it's a Bob's brain we can't control. Oftentimes, I don't control Bob's brain. However, I always have the opportunity to do so. This is a little bit more like we got to be paying attention to where it is, but the corollary to it is that it's also a huge help for us from a damage-dealing standpoint. If our damage sucks, it can help out an awful lot. And right now, like, <laughs> that and Demon Baby are aces in the hole. Come on, come on, come on. I wish we could influence BBF to maybe be a little bit closer to center there. That's alright, it's gonna catch it on this one. That did a lot of damage. And this should finish it off. That went surprisingly well. This is so far from a one run that I can't even really start to talk about it yet. Whoa, that was interesting. BBF just killed an enemy. It, it was probably Demon Judgment, but it looked like BBF killed an enemy with, without exploding. It just, like, ran into it. Now, of course, there is shit like that that can happen. And that's going to be very frustrating when it does. You know, just BBF exploding right in your face right as soon as the layout starts. You got to take the good with the bad if you're going to choose to roll with this item. If you want to go and take a ride with me, I forget the rest of the song, but at some point... Nelly probably says you gotta take the good with the bad. Whether literally or metaphorically speaking. This is very, very uh, non-traditional run right now. A little bit of an eccentric one, that's alright. This is why I have uh, two spirit hearts. This is why I made the decision to roll like this. Fuck this room, man. Oh, BBF sorted me out. That's gonna explode soon. Yeah, I'll be ready. There we go. If you're gonna go and take a ride with me, you gotta take the good with the bad, you see. Alright. Where are we getting all these pennies from? Just good luck, I guess. Okay, big moment. It's a greed fight. That's incredibly bad. <laughs> I finally have money and an opportunity to get a lot more money here. And yet we find ourselves... Uh, in a position where we can't get too much out of it. But I will take... I'll take the Steam Sale. And I will open this as well, because if we can get another Spirit Heart out of it, I kind of gotta at this point. Let's see what we got over here. Um, more of that. Not really particularly interested in that. Extra keys don't hurt, but they're also not going to win us the run here. A little bit disappointed by the lack of Red Hearts as well. It's kind of like an essential fuel that we're going to need moving forward. It's okay, though. Maybe I should be using the D6 more often. I'm only using it on those, like, super marquee rerolls right now. But uh, maybe there's a case to be made for using it a little bit more prodigiously. Like, we're not in a normal run. We shouldn't be using normal conditions. Maybe rerolling decent items to try to get amazing items is actually, you know, a method that'll um, help us out here. But admittedly, it's kind of a niche Isaac run right now. Don't find myself in this position all that often. But this is all about the guaranteed deal with the devil here. Even if it's Krampus, I'm just going to be happy to be there. By the way, thank you to the game for coming out with some of the hottest rap jams in 2004. Like, hate it or love it, man. Great part on that. However, thank you to the game for giving us a, a ton of spirit hearts as well. Like, lots of spirit hearts right now that are going to be conducive towards helping us win. I appreciate it a lot. I want you to know, game, that I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm not taking credit for things that are not mine to take credit for. 
Um, and as long as you keep hooking me up here, I think we're going to have a beautiful friendship together. This is our moment of truth. Okay, that was awesome. Uh, boss rush is not going to happen. So I'm thinking we put a bomb down here. Put a bomb down here. See if we can get an eternal heart, maybe. Mmm, wow. I'm waiting for BBF to come back, basically. I'm trying to use Occam's Razor here. Where would our second secret room be? I guess our next most likely location is right here. Wow. All right. Well, you, you can't win them all, I guess. That was a waste of three bombs, but... Relatively hard fight for this stage of the game, and it's a boss that's pretty mobile, so it's going to be hard to tell when BBF is going to make contact. And it did right there. A little bit more than halfway through it here. I can't stress enough how important, like, if we could get a tears upgrade. <laughs> I don't even need tears plus damage. Like, tears plus shot speed would be so good. And I'm bleeding hearts against Dark One, which is not a good sign for the future. This is it. This is it right here. Nicely done. There's our deal. We got a speed upgrade. Oh, this is... We just won the game right here. Absolutely. We'll take this. We'll take this. We'll take this. And we'll reroll our speed upgrade. And I'm extremely happy with the situation we found ourselves in right now. Oh man, it, like it's not an ex exaggeration to say that we basically just turned this into a one run with one deal with the devil. If you're only going to get one deal with the devil, Mom's Knife Pact, Whore of Babylon, with exactly enough HP to put you in the Whore of Babylon state is worth it. Uh, I should play the Blood Bank and try to get ourselves into that Horror of Babylon state, because I just realized that by not taking the speed upgrade and taking blue cap instead, we did put ourselves in a situation where I lost it. However, that's a win, and if you're going to get on my case about uh, about that one, oh, and L, you got lucky, you got carried. Look, I did get lucky, but I also, how can you hate, man? I planned for this exact situation. I was the guy saying, I'm going to double down on a deal with the devil on the next floor. I got lucky that I worked out in my favor, but... This is, uh, this is pretty much what I set myself up for, so I'm feeling like it was a good decision. Let's just put it that way. Alright. This is still a losable run, just on the virtue of the fact that we don't have a ton of HP, but it should be sorted here. We got Steam Sale, ton of money, good amount of consumables, at least keys and money. Um, damage is going to be through the roof. We picked up three extraordinary damage dealers right there. BBF's a little bit of a liability, but I think we're going to be able to get enough uh, great stuff here that it's not going to matter too much. Necropolis, okay, you know, Curse of the Blind does have the potential to kind of throw this into disarray a little bit. So we got to be careful about that. Also, with uh, Eve's Mascara, our shot speed is very bad, which in Mom's Knife's case, I think manifests itself as our effective range. So our effective range takes a long time to hit its maximum. It's weird. That sentence, it almost sounds like it's meaningless to me, but it's, uh, I've got to charge up the shot for a long time before it reaches the furthest it can go, and I think that's maybe tied to the tears as well, but it's, it's a slightly, slightly risky position to be in. Let's just put it that way. All right. Well worth opening that, except for the fact that I took myself out of the Horror of Babylon state, but, uh, we'll try to handle that hopefully with maybe like a Guppy's Paw. At some point, no pressure, game. You don't have to give it to me. You've given me enough as is. Both the good and the bad. Let's just finish the run right now. However, I would like to have the opportunity to be permanently in the Horror of Babylon state. A ceremonial robes pickup would be awesome as well. Not a huge fan of this situation right here. Try to hit these guys diagonally where it hurts. <laughs> diagonally is where it hurts. Have you ever been hit by something diagonally? It'll take the wind out of you. Uh, excuse me? A little bit confused about what just happened in that situation. And the cartridge. Well, if I'm not using the D6, I should probably replace it, but the real solution is probably just to start using the D6 a little bit more effectively, if I had to guess. Tricky situation. Got lucky. I could say skilled, but no, it was pretty much just mostly luck that we managed to see ourselves through that situation without taking damage, and then we got hit immediately after. D20. Reroll that. Eh, it could be useful. Then we'll reroll the D20 itself. Charm of the Vampire. Not particularly useful, and in fact is going to make it much harder to actually be permanently in our Horror of Babylon state. Kind of a bad pickup. Even at the best of times, Charm of the Vampire is rarely the kind of thing you're going to be super stoked about, so... Uh, 
This is uh, almost an objective negative for us, unless we start running like a full on, like tons of HP style run here. Which I think is unlikely. If I let this go on long enough, I'm pretty sure that, uh, oh, that was real bad. Oh, that was substantially worse. This just keeps getting better and better here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that BBF would eventually destroy all the skulls on this room, but, you know, nobody's got time for that. Start cracking these open. Don't have a ton of bombs. Decent amount. That's probably Dry Baby. Dry or Ghost? I'm not going to be too concerned either way. Dry Baby is the better one, though. Degas Rune. Use it. That purifies Curse of the Blind as well. And our Moon card, which I'll probably take and teleport. It's not like we have a... Uh, it's not like we have a uh, boss rush to worry about or anything like that. Super Greed. He's super greedy. For all of my misplays here, we've had some pretty good luck. Uh, we, we've turned this into a pretty stellar floor, and I'm assuming that we got sh good shop, because we fought Greed already, and then a boss room that could be amazing as well. No more, um, no more curses for the rest of the game is very nice. And we, we pretty much bought the shop out there uh, of all the stuff that I wanted. And still have, you know, I, I wasn't even looking at our wallet before. Like, it didn't even make a dent in, in functional context or functional considerations. Thank you. That's uh, the value of BBF right there. We are pretty slow. I'm actually starting to wish that I'd taken that speed upgrade for more reasons than the obvious, like, hey, you fucked up Curse of, or Whore of Babylon. It's all good, though. We're still in such a good position relative to where we just were that I can't really complain. I'm just going to leave, uh, I don't feel like a super need to do that big room or anything like that. Why would we? And, you know what, here's what we're going to do. If I don't have to fight the bosses in the boss room, that's way better for me. Piggy Bank, pretty much going to pay for itself right here. Puts us back in the Horror of Babylon state as we play the uh, Blood Bank. Then we're going to come in here. Snag Spider Bud. Oh, okay, maybe we better fight the bosses because we're already... Like, in this situation. We'll reroll Spider Butt into Teleport. That's terrible. Teleport to our item room. Fire Mind. I don't even think it works with the knife. And I think if it does work with the knife, it's going to make it worse. However, that's kind of interesting to me. So I'm going to try it. And I definitely should not have walked into that guy. I did not need that extra penny from Piggy Bank. At least not that badly. And we've already lost our Whore of Babylon state as a result of uh, Charm of the Vampire. That's going to happen. Do our best not to take red hard damage here so that we can... Wiggle Worm is not worth it <laughs> in, this, in this situation. You could probably just end that sentence there. Wiggle Worm is not worth it, but definitely uh, in this situation specifically. Fuck the money. It's not worth getting hit by those guys again. That's probably gonna... Oh my god! I was like, that's gonna land a direct hit. It didn't land even an indirect hit. Could have Star's card out of the uh, curse room there. That probably would have been a smarter decision. Guppy's Paw. This is like exactly what I asked for and is a huge help for us. HP could be still a little better, but uh, being permanently in the Whore of Babylon state is going to help us out an extraordinary amount here. What do you think? You think you're going to get it? He's not going to get a chance. Let's try it in the next room. If you'd only... Gone to the center right off the bat here, BBF. You could have saved me a little bit of a little bit of trouble, a little bit of strife. Portable slot. It, it can be interesting, but I don't think it's that immediately useful. What about our pill? Pheromones. Reroll these two. Humbling bundle, amazing, of course. Reroll this guy. Bottle of pills. Telepills. Back to the teleport. <laughs> and another, another blood bank. Okay. Well, we're going to get some charges here, but that's all right. Humbling Bundle, man. Humbling Bundle's a, a great pickup. All right, yeah. yeah. Let's just get out of here. No amount of money is worth that. Well, in real life, a, a very small amount of money is probably worth that, but within the context of the game, we're not going to be that interested in that. I'm still a little bit on cloud nine. A little bit surprised we managed to make our way out of this situation to begin with. I wanted to come back here and donate because we got the cash for it. If we could get over 600, that's really good progress made this week on our donation machine. I don't know if we're going to be able to... No, we're not even going to get close. <laughs> I didn't even need to come up with a conversational thread there. The conversational thread was just, no, it's not going to happen. Yeah, we have no need to worry about, you know, Blood Bank meta anymore. Emperor card, extremely good. 
I don't think we have much need to explore the rest, but uh, you know what? We should. Just in case we get a deal with the devil, we'll want to have a full suite of rerolls. But it's going to be a little bit of backtracking. We need to get to at least four, and then our fifth one will take us over the top because we have uh, the AAA battery. Oh, come on with that shit. And actually, you know what? That absolves us because there's no way we have more combat unless it's in a greed fight. Uh, and I doubt there will be a greed fight, but there could be. We'll find out in just a moment. Nope. But we could get Magic Mushroom in here. We could get some good pills. More luck upgrades I wouldn't mind. Liberty Cap, something to be said for that, I guess. Tears down. Full health. <laughs> we'll take a full health pill, but I really don't want to pick up any more health unless it's Spirit Hearts anyway. What's this? Tears down. Yeah, man. Not super thrilled about that. All right, let's see if we can kill Mom. Nah, not quite in one foot, but it's not much beyond that. Ooh. Little sneaky damage there. We took the Polaroid and inside of our deal with the Devil Room. We gotta go Guppy's Collar. We'll do it before we take the pill. Ah, which is Balls of Steel. Explosive Diarrhea. I don't think Judas' Shadow lends us enough in this situation. We already have a respawn. I think it's just costing us three Spirit Hearts that we're unlikely to need to use the item for anyway. I left behind the Emperor card, I just realized, uh, to take a full health pill with me. Not a very shrewd decision. We could have skipped this entire floor, or more likely, the entire floor on the Cathedral, which would have been, you know, very advantageous. I'm sorry, Loki. It had to be done. You were taking some fire damage there. I appreciate that. I mean, this is a normal situation where you're like, if I was a boss, where would I be? But my logic this time largely boils down to, I don't want to do the big room. I hope the boss agreed with me when it initially uh, set up shop. We'll go back for those keys. I think it's actually, it's probably a little slower on the room to wait for the, to, to leave the room and then come back and get the consumable rather than wait for its period of invulnerability to end. But it might be a little faster within the context of a whole run if you're skipping every room and then coming back one room behind to pick up stuff that you miss. I'm not sure. I have to talk to the speedrunners about that. There's a tinted rock there we can't uh, take advantage of. It's kind of just a situation where we uh, will move very, very little and uh, we'll take damage, I guess, was what I was going to finish that sentence with. Where you at, dog? Oh, come on. Work with me here. Double keys. Getting a little low on HP. Feeling slightly nervous, but with the knowledge that we have a respawn waiting for us, uh, if I if I truly bung it up as much as it's bungable. There's a tinted rock up there. We haven't had small rock in what feels like a little while. And we're not going to get it there either, but financially, we're even more set than we were, although we were pretty much 100% set. I had a feeling BBF would get that guy. Humbling Bundle working out very well for us. I will go to the Curse Room, even though it's going to cost us two Spirit Arts. Oh my god, it really should not have. <laughs> Get out of here! Uh, one of them might be Balls of Steel. Oh no. None of them were Balls of Steel, but we were going to get hurt on the way out anyway, so... That's not a big deal. Why did you take full health when you got Pheromones? I don't know. With this situation, we might end up taking HP. Now that I think about it, no we won't, because that'll ruin Horror of Babylon. But, you know, it's not like Pheromones is that useful either. We're going to be hoping for now uh, a deal with the devil for a guppy item. Nine lives in particular, even though it would ruin Horror Babylon, would pretty much guarantee us the win. I'm going to take this the fact that the chest showed up here as a sign that the secret room is going to be there, and it wasn't, and it wasn't even adjacent to it. I saw the sign. It uh, opened up my eyes, I saw the sign, but the sign turned out to be a, a red herring. Someone's having a giggle at my expense. Pentagram? Nine lives. Alrighty then. Uh, let's re-roll this. We shouldn't take this. It's not going to let us get into the Whore of Babylon state. I understand that Guppy is not that good with Mom's Knife. However, it did give us the ability to fly. It will do something. And the fact that we picked up that ninth live is extremely important. Uh, for the future, man, and I mean that sincerely. Now we have the ability to actually die, which is extremely, extremely important. 
It could be extremely important for wrong reasons, you know? If we find ourselves uh, getting hit by BBF too much, that's real bad. But for now, uh, I I'm very happy to have it. And all we really need is a little bit of spirit heartage to take us past the danger zone here. People always get mad at me when I have one HP in Curse of, uh, or Horror of Babylon. They say, why don't you play the Blood Bank, you scum lord? You're such a freaking idiot, you ding dong. Why don't you go back to school, Billy Madison? You gotta put yourself in the Horror of Babylon state. Literally, you know, we're on the, the womb. This is not a straw man argument. Like, people actually say this all the time. Um, the, the freaking Blood Bank does double damage on the womb and beyond. So, we would actually be literally killing ourselves every time we played it. People are like, do it anyway. Well, you know. Some men just want to watch the world. Some men just want to watch the world burn. That's not a very good Michael Caine impression. This is a big moment for us, theoretically. I don't love the idea of using a bunch of keys on this guy. But we do have a golden key. This is pretty much the only time I'll entertain this possibility. And I'll, I'll just, I'll keep playing until we get down to four keys. Because we're very unlikely to find like a Yara rune or another key beggar on the chest. It's, it's possible, but it's unlikely. Extra spirit heart. I mean, we've paid like 14 keys for one spirit heart. Is it worth it? Ooh, probably not. I don't want to open this just yet. Wanted to make sure if it was uh, spiders, our bomb wouldn't run into it. Instead, it was a bomb. That's okay, too. Store credit, uh, that's not going to be useful at all. You're lucky you gave me more keys, man. That gives you more of a reason to do business as well. And again, okay, well, I can only give you two, though, so you better pay out, man. All right, well, I'm going to blow you up now. Fun while it lasted. Full health again. Ah, Guppy's head. And Tammy's head. I think, you know, there. I like Tammy's head a lot. But I think this is actually just a great room for us to reroll in the future. So, let's keep both of those there. And this will allow us to save our reroll for the chest as well, which is extremely important. Not necessarily important. Extremely valuable, though. Okay, thank you. So yeah, that's that's like a really useful reroll that you normally wouldn't expect to get here. So I'm very thankful to have it. Should be an easy room. One more room will give us the charge, thanks to AAA battery. Nice little diagonal shot. I always like to do those when I get the chance. And you know what? I'll spend an extra bomb to save us a slight bit of time here. I'm not above that. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. The Guppy's Tail pickup, you can argue that it's going to be bad, actually. The Ceremonial Rose pickup is pretty much objectively good. Uh, the Guppy's Tail pickup is a potential negative. Very stupid of me there. Um, because it might present us with more golden chests than we actually have keys necessary to open. But I figured, you know, we got a Humbling Bundle, we've got a golden key on this floor, so any golden chests we get on this floor are already gravy. So far, hasn't worked out that amazingly. I figured, you know, why don't we just, even if it costs us, a, I didn't expect it to cost us two spirit hearts, but even if it costs us one spirit heart, why don't we just go buck wild and stand right next to mom's heart and it finish the job super quickly. And again, if we die, I don't really care all that much because we have 10 lives left, one of which is uh, like really likely, more likely than the other ones at least, to pan out with success if we get down to it. Actually, like the knife is summoning a decent number of flies, man. Maybe not as many as it would if it was technology or something like that, but it's uh, better than it gets a, a wrap for, I think. I, I might as well take it. We already have HP. Chariot card. Um, yeah, okay. Fantastic. There's a use for the chariot card. Probably pop it against Isaac. Isaac! Did I just walk into a troll ball? That was not a smart decision. But, HP-wise, we're in a great spot. And Blood of the Martyr, nothing wrong with that. And by HP-wise, I meant damage-wise. Because HP-wise, we're kind of in, in a little bit of a prickly spot, actually. Oh, it's so good. Cricket's head. I love you. I think I love you, but what am I so afraid of? 
Actually, not very much. Just having on camera stroke and then losing the run, which could happen theoretically, but probably won't. Um, yeah, at this point. Okay, let's let's not die on this room like that. There's not much of a, an excuse for that. Charm of the Vampire getting us to that half heart interval that it will inevitably squander in just a few seconds here. Ooh, but a library it appears. Oh yeah, okay. Oh baby, a triple. No, what we end up doing here is just the obvious. We uh, re-roll the shit out of it, and maybe we can turn this into an item room. It's gonna take us some time. We're gonna get some HP in the process, though. But I'm gonna make a scene. Gonna re-roll these books. Go crazy like Charlie Sheen. Cause I'm Isaac, Isaac, I'm Isaac. I got to have some of your specials given to me. It's the best I could do ever. Short notice has got nothing to do with it. Yeah, luck upgrades. Doesn't bother me. Wah, da, 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 da. I'm not holding the D6 anymore. I do this so often. It's embarrassing. I'm holding the non-D6 item. Look, I like Satanic Bible as much as the next guy, but this is not what we agreed on, game. We're not going to get a uh, library on the next floor. I don't think they exist on the chest. I don't think the idea of them exists. So we might as well, you know, do what we can here. We need five rooms. We can fight Isaac and then come back and re-roll it. The question is, do you want to re-roll a library when you could re-roll guaranteed items on the chest instead? And the answer is sort of complicated because it's not really, like, that simple. Because it's four extra items and you might like the four items you automatically get in the chest. You know what? I'm going to use a key, do this, and I'm doing this so that I can fight one more room and maybe have a better chance to re-roll it and still get some re-rolls on the next floor. Like, we're, we're re-rolling four items that we're definitely not going to use into items that we could potentially use before going down to the next floor where we're gonna fight some enemies and get some items that we're maybe going to use no matter what, you know what I mean? Like, it's a it's a weird situation. We're in a bad spot key-wise right now. I'm hoping that that'll change. Uh, this next room is just straight up like the last room except for Isaac. So we really are gonna get only one more re-roll. No more keys, either. Hmm. I'm hoping the secret room actually has greed in it. I'm, ho I'm hoping we can find the secret room for that matter. It's gotta be next to the arcade. Or the library. Um. Okay. 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 I wanna wait for that to go off. Maybe I skipped an opportunity. Uh, I'm not really that concerned about using bombs here. Let's try to find the second secret room. Sure, those flies are going to make it very easy to kill Isaac. I'm just going to chariot card. Oh, come on, dog. Oh, we did it. Okay. How that guy lived there is beyond me. I am going to go back and reroll the library. Here's my theory. We don't have the keys necessary to open the chest anyway. That's my own fault, but uh, it's the situation we're in anyway. So we might as well just... Reroll these bad boys. It didn't turn out fantastically. However, we got one damage upgrade out of it. And we took the other two books out of the pool. Which means that we can't get those books on the chest. Which is maybe okay. Let's be honest though. We're theory crafting a run that is won anyway. This is a run that's going to end in a victory. There's very little that can happen to, to turn it otherwise. Even with our limited amounts of HP. That's one of them. Top right chest gives us piercing shots. That's, I believe, the second form of piercing shots we have. So it's... <laughs> maybe not. Maybe we got Sagittarius on the stream run, and I'm just getting confused right now. A lot of Isaac runs, man. They bleed together after a while. I'm hoping to get more keys. Otherwise, I pretty much squandered the entire chest just to pick up... Ah, that's not true. I spend keys on a lot of different things. There's no single origin that I can point to as a place for blame here. It's very rare to not be able to open all of the uh, chests on the chest for me. Like, that's my number one priority for keys is, like, I, I start saving keys on, like, the, the womb one. I'm like, we're going to need these for the future. 
This time, I guess I just didn't give it uh, the respect it deserved, I guess. But I really thought Humbling Bundle would carry us through. You know what? We shouldn't have taken Guppy's Collar. I'll be the I'll be the bigger man and just admit it right away. Ah, there we go. So we got two keys back. It doesn't really matter. what Ah, it does matter what we open. Because we should open the room with two of the golden chests in it so we get double the efficiency on our rerolls. However, I shouldn't have taken Sagittarius, or uh, Cupid's Arrow. I should have just saved that for a reroll later. Juicy Sack, Mystery Sack. This should give us the Sack Transformation, where we literally turn into a Scrotum. Figured, why don't we try this direction this time? I, I was actually hoping that we'd find a dead end, to be honest with you, so that I could just continue going in the direction we were already going, but guilt-free. Extremely good item. In some situations that are not this one. Alright, let's head straight down here. This is uh, another dead end, but I don't mind going to it. We'll open that, but we're going to come in this direction first, just because of inertia, basically. Don't really need the money, and by really, I mean don't at all need the money. Bob's Curse, acceptable. And we're about to get one more reroll as well, so... We're going to take that back. No, I took both of the items we already got. I don't need to do anything with my reroll. That's right. I wasn't going to dodge that shot, so we got pretty lucky. Reroll Stompy, because Stompy doesn't do anything for us. And with flying, neither does the magnet. So, you can feel pretty good about that one. Okay. Bomb Child's Heart. Not particularly interested in either. We're kind of... <laughs> we got our own bombs. That I find acceptable right now. Tech point five, great synergy with Mom's knife just for pure DPS standpoint. And oh man, we're gonna have a lot of help on this next room. No need to use the magician. Just get in there and finish the job. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We had some touch and go moments, but we made it out. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Come on out and watch.